What's your guys' view on N-clomiphene to boost testosterone? This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. I haven't used it yet. I mean, I've, I've looked at some of the research on it. And it. I mean, it looks promising as far as avoiding maybe some of the side effects from Clomid, but it's still at the end of the day, it's the same principle as... The last time I looked at N-clomiphene was when it was still being considered uh, for approval. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, my recollection on it was that it basically took the part of the clomiphene that aromatized and eliminated it. So it's essentially a non-aromatizing surge. Is that correct? I don't, uh, it's a, what, a stereoisomer of clomid. So I'm not sure, actually. I just thought it only blocked receptors in the hypothalamus and that was it. Um, so it's, so so it's it extremely affect, selective then. Right. And so it's really just trying to stimulate those pituitary hormones. Um, I'm not a fan of taking an oral medication as a replacement therapy. No. For, me, no. for me, all of these um, you know, self-stimulating analogs like clomid, uh, tamoxifen, any of these, to me, they're more of a, an acute therapy. This okay. is not a lifelong, this is not a replacement for TRT. You don't go on n clomiphene for 30 years. No. Um, this is a Kickstarter. So sure, if you want to kickstart and n clomiphene alleviates some of the floaters or mood swings of Clomid, by all means, use it, get the hell off and see if your LH recovered. If it didn't, you're still a TRT candidate in my book. 100% agree. It's not a replacement. It drives me crazy. All the guys lately that are joining the group and a lot of them are from Europe and I get it because the doctors over there aren't, they just want to, and they do it here too though. Endocrinologists, uh, urologists, they're like, yeah, we're just going to get you on Clomid and that's as good as TRT. And Those just, darn urologists. <laughs> um, get me started. Um, it makes no sense. The replacement for low T is T. If you're not concerned about fertility, if you're not trying to do a kickstart, whatever, Every, otherwise take testosterone. <laughs> it just drives me insane. I mean, I get a little snippy on the forum with just because it's all the time now. And it's like, why are you trying to do all this stuff that doesn't, you don't feel better. It's not, it's not testosterone. And, and you're when, adding in a synthetic chemical instead of, I mean, yes, testosterone is synthetic, but I mean, a, not a natural substance, right? Clomid is not something naturally found in the body. HCG isn't either, even though it mimics LH, it's not LH. So you're doing all this stuff that's not even close to natural. And goes, well, yeah, but my production will be natural. So what? You're taking a natural crap that's going to come with side effects, and most guys don't feel as well. So hey, when, when a diabetic becomes hypoglycemic and he's at immediate risk for low blood sugar, do we give him fats, which will then be converted into glucose, or do right. we just give him glucose? Right. right. So why are we taking four steps backwards in order to convert this into this into this into this so we can have testosterone? Mm -hmm. Heck, take testosterone, call it a day. Yeah. It's not, it's not hard. I, I just, I don't know what this fear of testosterone, why it still lingers like it does. I don't know. Because understand. it's steroids. It's bad. <laughs> it is. Yeah, freaking. Hey, thanks for watching. And now click on one of these thumbnails to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization.